Rigas, where back on New England Mountains to keep looking for a melanistic pheasant and also to continue the Grey Fox grind here on single player. So the plan today is to spend the first couple hours checking the areas where the pheasants are to see if we can come across a melanistic, and then I'ma spend another hour or two grinding some foxes, we'll see if we can find another trophy after finding a diamond last week. But as I said, before we return to that grind, we're gonna start by checking some of the pheasant locations, where apart from having a certain chance to come across a melanistic, we may also stumble onto something nice like this max estimate raccoon track. He may be our second diamond raccoon on New England mountains after getting one last week, so let's go try to find it, he shouldn't be too far. Now in case you didn't know, there's a new reserve coming to the Honor Call of the Wild really soon. We still have no idea of anything regarding the new animals nor the location, but what we know as it was confirmed in the most recent expansive fall stream is that it won't be another North American map which actually leaves us with a wide range of possible locations like for example an Asian map, Australia, another European map, or even a second African map, although it was implied that it won't be the case this time. So if we rule out North America and Africa, I think the most possible locations are either Australia or some region on Asia, especially considering how widely requested these options have been. You know, a lot of people have been asking for an Australia map, same for Asia, and I think this time it's very likely we'll finally get one of those two reserves. I personally think it's gonna be Australia with maybe Great One Fallow Deer, or maybe Europe with a Great One European Bison. You know, whatever it is, I think it's gonna be interesting, so we'll see. Alright, here we have this open area, so let's see if we can finally spot this potential level 5 raccoon here. And there he is, level 4. 11 to 13 estimate, that's actually a potential diamond. Well, I don't remember ever seeing a level 4 diamond raccoon posted, but I don't see a reason to think that they cannot make it. You know, he probably won't be diamond, but if he makes it, it wouldn't be that surprising. Ok, here we have a chance to shoot him, he's about 100 meters out, so I'ma use the 243 Cuomo. He is down. Potentially the first diamond of the hunt, a massive level 4 raccoon, which is not a max level, so we're not gonna get our hopes up too much, but it could surprise us. 11.69, he's a big one. A really big level 4, you know the diamond score is 12, so this guy was in fact really close to be our second diamond raccoon on New England mountains. Now let's continue. Alright, we're still exploring some of the regions with pheasants, we're currently on this location, and I just stumbled onto a track of a max estimate bobcat. These big tracks are relatively common here on New England mountains, and they normally lead you to a level 7 or a level 8. Of course in rare occasions they end up being a level 9, but most of the times they are not gonna be that big. So let's go try to find it, and let's see if we get lucky and we end up getting our second diamond bobcat on New England mountains. Now, I tend to forget that since the Bobcat and the Mexican Bobcat have different entries on the codex, the rares I have for the Mexican Bobcat don't really count here on New England, which essentially means that if I really wanna get all the possible rares on this game, eventually, I will also have to obtain the blue, the albino and the melanistic Bobcat here on New England in order to complete the whole rare collection on this game. Of course, that would require a grind, and I think a Bobcat grind would be interesting, so I definitely plan to start one at some point, probably a few months after the next map comes out and we already got all the diamonds there, because every time a new map gets released, my first goal is to get all the diamonds on such reserve. So once I get them all, we can start thinking in setting up another grind, like for example one for all those popcat rares. It certainly won't be an easy task, but it will be necessary in our journey to get all the rares on this game. And there he is. Is he a level 7, level 8, or a level 9? Oh! Level 9! He's fortunately a level 9 and potentially the first diamond of the hunt. It actually didn't take too long to find it, mainly because this species is incredibly slow, so it's super easy to reach him. And now that we have the opportunity, we're gonna drop him using the 243 Cuomo. 
Well, there's actually a Turkey over there. Which is also a diamond potential, he's a max estimate level 2. You know, these guys make it fairly often below level 3, so this one has a chance. Let's see a score. 4.41, he is not big. Now let's go for the Bobcat again before he goes too far. Alright, we have another chance here, he's about 50 meters out. So let's go for it. Come on. That will do it. We probably hit only a single long because he didn't die instantly, which means that the shot placement was not the best. I feel it was a bit too far back. But luckily, here we have it. And it has a score of 27.91. He's a diamond. The first trophy of the hunt is a beautiful level 9 Bobcat. And in fact, the shot was a bit too far back, we hit the stomach, the liver and the right lung, so it was not ideal, but enough to take him down. Another big track. This time it is from a Max Estimate Coyote, which is the second this week, and I wonder if he is bigger than the mythical we got a few days ago. I mean, a Max Estimate Coyote may not seem like something special, but in the case of this species, the Max Estimates are actually quite hard to find. You know, these 24 to 27 kg tracks are not exactly common, so every time you come across one, you gotta make sure to track him because you never know, they may lead you to a level 9. And the level 9 coyotes are one of the rarest max labels in the game, and maybe the rarest here on New England. Now, in order to chase a coyote and find it as quickly as possible, the best strategy is actually very simple. The only thing you have to do is to run non-stop until you reach him, taking advantage of their slow pace. Because these guys are really slow, so just as the bobcats and the foxes, the best way to chase him is to run behind them. Alright, as expected, we managed to outpace this coyote, and now we have the chance to know if he's a level 9. Level 8, 52 to 57. He's certainly not huge, which is quite disappointing, although also kind expected. So he may score higher than the last mythical we got, but I really doubt he'll be big enough to be diamond. Let's see what he scores. 54.58, really far from being an impressive score, he's a relatively small mythical, certainly closer to be a level 7 than a level 9, and well, at least the shot was decent, we hit the hard, not that I was trying to hit it, but you know how much I like hard shots, so not too bad, we cannot complain. No way. Level 9 Coyote. Honestly, from all the diamonds on this map, a coyote was the one that I was expecting to see the least. Especially on my own map. And if this guy actually makes it, he would be our first diamond coyote on New England mountains, and he would get us one step closer from achieving our goal of getting all the diamonds on this reserve. We still would need like half the species, but it would be great to get what is arguably the rarest of them all off the list. Okay, there he is. He's actually part of a small pack with another two females. And now that he's on the open, about 70 meters out, we're gonna drop him. And... We probably hit a single long, he's going down. Here we have this massive legendary coyote, which is perhaps our first ever diamond coyote on New England mountains. Let's see a score. Oh, well that's sad. He's a troll, 56.35 score, I honestly don't remember the last time I got a troll coyote, I believe it was on early 2018, so it's been quite a while, and this guy is without any doubt one of the most painful trolls I've gotten recently, because I was really excited to finally get this diamond off the list here on New England, and now we'll have to find another level 9 which probably won't be easy.